guys it's yaya welcome back to my channel today's video is sponsored by skillshare thank you so much skillshare for sponsoring this video let's jump right into this easy recipe today i'm making an aloe and oat soothing cream i only use 10 ingredients to make this super soothing cream with a very powdery feel to the skin starting off with phase a which is our water phase we're starting with the water phase ingredients the water phase ingredients are super simple we're using aloe vera juice distilled water and vegetable glycerin aloe vera is a great moisturizer it also helps to soothe skin irritation especially burns and cuts so i'm adding the aloe vera juice directly into my distilled water and then I'm going to add in glycerin. Glycerin is going to help to just attract more moisture to the skin. It is very great for hydrating the skin. So once you add all of your water phase ingredients, mix them together until they dissolve. Then set your water phase to the side so we can work on the oil phase. Phase B or the oil phase consists of ingredients that makes this cream and gives it its creaminess. So you'll need your emulsifier because it's how the water and the oil come together without separating. This is how you create the emulsion. Next, you'll need emollients. Emollients help give softening properties to the cream as well as moisturizing properties to the cream. And then our thickener usually is what's going to help give us the extra creamy feel, that silky feel, that really powdery, lotiony feel that you're looking for. It's also going to help to bulk up the product so it won't be too loose, okay? So for our oil phase ingredients, we're adding 10 grams of BTMS 50, which is our emulsifier. 2.5 grams of cidal alcohol, which is our thickener. 10 grams of cocoa butter, which is a really great emollient. It also helps to thicken the product. And then 21.25 grams of kukui nut oil, which is a very light oil that absorbs quickly in the skin, leaving it soft and powdery. Once you've combined all of your oil phase ingredients, we're gonna melt them down. You can do this in a microwave or using a double boiler over low heat. Or you can put it in a water bath on the stove over low heat. Either way will work fine. Just keep in mind that BTMS 50 can be very stubborn. And as you can see here, it's already starting to solidify around the edges. So you want to move quickly when using BTMS 50. I'm going to pour the water phase directly into the oil phase. And then I'm going to use my immersion blender to make sure that it is blended well. So this is what it's looking like now, and it looks so creamy and thick. Remember that this is still piping hot, so we want to let it cool down for maybe 10 to 15 minutes. When we come back, you'll see it is super thick, and I just love this consistency. You want to give it another really good mix until it's silky smooth. And this is pretty much the texture of this cream. It is just so beautiful. Now, I know you guys are wondering, so where does the oat come in? Well, the oats come in during the cool down phase. The cool down phase is where you add ingredients that are heat sensitive, like your preservative, your fragrance oil, and your vitamin E. This go around, I'm also adding colloidal oatmeal. Colloidal oatmeal is a very fine powder that helps to soothe the skin. If you have skin irritation, especially itchy skin, itchy dry skin, this will definitely help to soothe those elements. Colloidal oat is already a very fine powder, but you can grind it up even more just to make sure that it's going to disperse well in your cream. Like I said, you can add this during the cool down phase like I did, or you can add it during the heated phases, the water or the oil phase. I love colloidal oat because it bulks up the cream, but it also leaves it very light and fluffy. When you rub it into your skin, it leaves a very powdery, soft feel. I just absolutely love it. For the rest of the ingredients in our cool down phase, you'll need vitamin E oil, which will help your oils and butters from oxidizing. You'll definitely need a preservative. It's mandatory. Since we added water to this cream, you absolutely need a preservative. Next, I'm adding lavender essential oil. You can use whatever essential oil works best for you. I just found this paired very well with the smell of the aloe vera. I'm gonna mix this up very, very well, and then I'm gonna add this small batch back into the larger batch. I also check the pH and adjust it according to my preservative. If you're using a different preservative, make sure you adjust your pH to the level that is perfect for your preservative. 
all right so that's it you guys once you mix it up well then you have this final texture i love the texture of this it is so fluffy creamy and yet powdery at the same time i cannot even explain it it's just beautiful so yeah this is the final results you guys what do you think i absolutely love it definitely leave a comment down below and let me know how you feel about this cream so before we end the video, I definitely want to give a huge thanks to our sponsor, Skillshare. Most of you know Skillshare for classes in photography, film, and editing videos. But did you know Skillshare has hundreds of career-focused classes too? The new year is the perfect time to reinvent yourself and your goals. As a content creator and crafter of handmade hair and skincare, I am constantly looking to take my skills to the next level. To build upon my creative voice and style, I'm taking classes that will support my career goals. No goal is too small, whether you're looking for financial stability or just looking to be your own boss. If you are looking to diversify your income and or earn passive income, check out the class by Tiffany Emery. She is a seven-figure Etsy seller and business coach. She will show you step-by-step -step how to launch your business on Etsy. There are also more classes on freelancing tips and how to use Shopify. So what are you waiting for? The first 1,000 people will get one month free trial to explore Skillshare and learn new skills to enhance your career or personal growth. So check the description box down below to go ahead and sign up now. All right, you guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you can get notifications every time I post a video. I definitely plan to post a little bit more frequently, you guys. I got a lot of material that I need to get out for you guys that I promised you guys. And yeah, I just hope you guys stick with me through this transition. And yeah, I really enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.